Yeah, um... I believe, if I have the story right, it was two guys named uh, Jack Weaver and Bill Stuber. Mm-hmm. That was, uh... And a producer named Harry Cool, Cool with the K. Uh, and it was called, it was called Triangle Recording. And then, um, and then it got, God, how long was it Triangle? I don't even remember. But, uh, it's, it's been through so many different owners. Like, Chris Hanzik owned it for a while, and Jack and Dino did a bunch of stuff here. And, um, you know, C. Fist did a bunch of stuff here way back. And, uh, then I know that John Goodmanson and uh, Stuart Holliman bought it in 1994, and it was John and Sue's for a long time, and and then we bought it from John in '99, I guess. So it's no 2000, I guess we bought it. So it's almost four years, and it's just uh, it's it gets turned over every three or four years for the same reason that John turned it over. It's like you get in there and because you need a space and you need anything and and it works out and it works out and then you realize how limited the space actually is and then you turn it over to somebody else who needs it so so we're trying to find the somebody else who needs it right now and who will continue to make albums there which is you know what we're all hoping so yeah 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 exactly exactly that's how it's always been you know and there's there's just so much history in that building and so many records have been done there real quick first what just what death cab stuff was done in there uh uh, the whole photo album was done there, uh, tracked and mixed here at the Hall of Justice, and uh, about half of Transatlanticism was tracked here, and Transatlanticism was all mixed here except for one song. So? Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much.